What's up dudes? This is another post project production where the project's already done. So you get to see the finished product first. Nice! Do you have an extension ladder that weighs something like 60 mega gazillion pounds? I did, and I used to hang it up on just two hooks in my garage, and it almost killed me every time I tried to take it down and put it up myself, and my wife almost killed me every time I asked her to help. So I built myself a one-man solution. It might be a little wacky do for some people and sure there are consumer grade products you can buy but I'm cheap and it works satisfactorily for me so let's just see how I built it and hopefully can help somebody out one of the stars of the show is this hook set up here and it's just your run-of-the-mill garage hooks screwed into a 4x4 board which is then screwed into the ceiling now I just got these at Lowe's in a multi-pack why, you might ask, not just screw them directly to the ceiling. Well, maybe they make longer threads hooks that you could do that, but you need extra space away from the ceiling for your ladder feet when you're coming in at an angle like this, doing it with one person. You also need two of these, one for one side, one for the other, and you're gonna space the second one out one stud further than the maximum non-extended length of your ladder. The unseen force holding these to the ceiling are countersunk lag screws. Yes, there's three holes because I snapped the head off of one of them, but these screws go in half the depth of the board and that holds up against the countersunk hole to support the weight of your ladder. Make sure these are going into a stud or you should not do this project. Now here's a demonstration of the countersinking on a scrap piece of wood. Obviously didn't use this to hang up any ladders. Get a hole saw that is going to have your washer or screw head sit in there and you're going to just drill a hole halfway through. Make sure you stop halfway. You could pre-drill the rest away with a smaller drill bit to not split your stud and that's it. It's going to sit in there halfway and hold your thing up. And there's my second one on the ceiling. Make sure you put your hooks in the width of your ladder rungs so it'll sit on there correctly. Now before you go hanging it, I want to make sure you understand how it's getting put in. Your ladder width of, uh, your unextended ladder width is going to go from your first hanging point hook support to your pulley support. And then you're going to get over the next joist and that's where you're going to put your second hook support. Now just making sure you understand that and it has to be on joist or it's going to fall down and crush you. And I really don't want you to be a ladder pancake. So take a look at the diagram. Let's get to the pulley. And the award for best supporting character goes to this ladder pulley. Now it's just a two by four with um, three inch screws, deck screws going into the joist above to hold it up. For the pulley itself, make sure you get one that supports the full weight of your ladder plus an extra factor of safety. Here's the one I got. It has three screw points. I only use two of them. I'm gonna use the three inch deck screws to screw all the way up through the board into the joist and mount it just like I showed you in that janky diagram. Before you hang your ladder up, you need to make sure these little clapper blopper thingies are oriented on the bottom or else your ladder will extend and not be able to be unextended. Once you've got that figured out, it's time to tie that bottom rung up with your rope from your pulley and maybe there's a better way to do this but just two granny knots is all that worked for me and to keep this an all the way on the ground operation I use something long to just extend it. Now you're ready to hoist this thing up. Pulling down the rope allows you to lift it with relative ease and once it gets to the top you're just going to use something to extend it out if that be a long handled tool or could just use step on a step ladder to get up there. Then you're one person hanging it. And it's just going to go right on that second support hook. Pulling it down, simply a matter of reversing the process. It is a little easier because gravity's on your side. Just pull it down and your ladder is now free and ready to use. Just don't drop it on your toe. And that's it for now. Hopefully if you took on this project, your letter is now snugly nestled somewhere in your house. 
and it's a lot easier to get down. If you can think of anything that would make this project better, please let me know. Until next time, this is Josh saying, get out there and go do some stuff.